Now that I make YouTube videos, please subscribe by the way. Needless to say, I grew up with low self-esteem and a cry for attention attitude, which I think plays an important role in me making all the bad decisions that I have made as a teenager, like getting high in school. For some of you who never had this experience, I must advise you to not even try it because firstly, school is the most horrible place to get high at and if you get caught, you can get into a lot of trouble. And secondly, you should get high on a comfortable couch in your own house surrounded by high sugar delicacies like M&Ms and Twizzlers. So I wasn't the most popular kid in school, more like, yeah, I know that guy, what about him? Which I think was because of my personality. Let's just say it didn't have a lot to offer back then. The only things I had in my bag was sarcastic comments and crappy art skills. But high school is an enormous swarm of low self-esteem, hormone-filled dumbasses where you would do anything just to be noticed by others, like befriending some frat boys for popularity. So one day on a crappy afternoon, as I was grabbing my lunch in the cafeteria, my friend Jimmy, who is the most white frat boy looking male specimen, comes up to me and says, all of us guys are gonna go and get stoned behind the school. You should come and hang with us, bro. So in my puny little adolescent brain, I thought this is my chance. This is how I can become the ultimate Channing Tatum of chicks and dicks. What? So I made the dumb choice and went with Jimmy to the back of the school where you know all the junkies and old farts hang out. We met up with a bunch of other people which were also frat and bro. After chilling for a while, Jimmy turns to me and passes me the bong and says, Wanna smoke, bro? So obviously to win people over and not to look like a pussy and reveal my true self, I said yes. Cause of course I have smoked before, but like I have vaped before, which I thought was the same thing. Not to my knowledge what pot does to you, without skipping a beat, I go hard on this thing. After the first hit, I was confused because this thing definitely did not taste like watermelons. Instead of stopping there, my tiny brain goes, it's just a new flavor. After this, maybe we should tell them about watermelons and apples. So I kept on hitting it again and again and nobody seems to stop me. In fact, these guys are freaking out. Bro, you are amazing. How are you doing this? So as I kept on going, Drag, nothing's happening, drag, nothing's happening, drag, nothing's happening. But the fact is that someone needs to tell you that for something to happen, you have to wait. <coughs> After like 10,000 drags, Jimmy says, we should probably head back. Let's continue this later at my place. And then they all started walking towards school and I just stood there. Because I forgot how to walk. In my head, I thought I was walking. But they confirmed. I wasn't. Are you sure I'm not moving? Nope. How about now? Still stiff as a rock. So I just stood there. And they kept asking me, Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You don't look fine. Nope. Definitely fine. And after standing like a freak for 10 more minutes, my legs were finally back online and I can walk again. So the first time you get high, stuff just feels awesome. Walking feels like flying. I flew across the halls and made my way to the history class. As I enter the class, the teacher looks me dead in the eye and says, Great work on the test. Apparently, I was good at history. Are you okay? I'm fine. For some of you who haven't taken history as a class before, it's the most boring subject. All the past wars, revolutions, and hiding all the genocide of thousands, but not the case this time. That day, I saw the revolutionary war. I mean, it was devastating. I just started to feel sorry for all those war heroes and their families and became all emotional and sad. So a polite girl sitting next to me says, Are you okay? Bro, because she was frat too. I'm fine. It's just all the soldiers and their families. I feel so sad. And the girl was like, Oh, this guy is so, so freaking weird. And then she never talked to me ever again. Then I slammed my head down and fell asleep for 6 freaking hours until the janitor found me sleeping in the classroom while he was cleaning it. Are you okay kid? Who me? I'm fine. Okay, this is the end card thing. Fuck, I don't know what to say at this part. I was in junior high when this happened. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. High school stories are fun. Maybe I should make a part 2 or something. SMS high school on the number down below to vote for a part 2. Okay, I'm drifting away from the topic again. What was I thinking about? Yeah, please subscribe for more upcoming stuff and like the video if you enjoyed it. And now I'm gonna go and take a nap.